What's up people, today we learn how lighting can set the mood and create a first impression for your viewers. Welcome to the Filmmaker's Blog, my name is Kevin and in this video we're going to talk about how lighting determines your viewer's first impression regarding genre, quality of the video, and if they're even going to finish the video at all. So go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell, share this video, and one more thing, Go ahead and smash that like button at the end of the video and let's get started. So what influences your first impression? And a better question for this video is actually, how long does it take to get an impression? Is it 10 minutes? One minute? One second? Or since we're talking about films, is it more scenes and sequences? So is it one sequence? one scene or just simply one frame. Really think about how long it takes you to get an impression of a video or a movie or a song. So everyone's different. We have different you know, lengths of patience, uh, attention spans, and that's going to vary from person to person. But that first second and that first frame have to be visually appealing and grasp your audience to watch the video. So that really goes to show how little of an amount of time you have to gain someone's attention. So let's talk about how lighting can affect the mood as well as the first impression. People have seen so many movies of many genres and they kind of have a feel for what looks like comedy, what looks like horror, what looks like drama. And so we kind of have to use those styles of lighting to make a first impression for your viewer. Let's take a look at some sitcoms really quick. All of these sitcoms have some things in common, and something that should jump out at you since we're talking about lighting is that they're all lit the same, or pretty similar to one another. They are high key and low contrast. And what that means is that it's bright. It's very bright all the time, meaning high key. But even with that, they still have almost no change from bright to dark, so no shadows in their shots and therefore it would be low contrast because there's not a huge contrast from light to dark. Now let's look at some horror shots or some more thrillers. They're going to have low key high contrast shots and low key to, when compared to high key is a darker shot in general, very low light and also has a high contrast meaning that there's a big divide from the brights and the darks in the frame unlike the sitcoms. So just from one frame alone you could probably tell roughly what genre the film is going to be. So let's take a look at this frame. It has low key lighting and high contrast which makes the frame look intense and makes us lean towards that horror and thriller genre. Not only that, but she's got blood on her shirt, so that kind of helps out too. This is a shot from my latest film, The Hunted, and you can check that out in the description below, but I like to think of this film as more of a drama. Maybe a thriller, but more of a drama. And that may not communicate in the first frame because of the way it's shot. Now let's take a look at this frame. In this one, it's definitely not as low key as it is in the last frame. As for contrast, it's pretty normal. So I think a lot of people's first impressions of this would actually be drama. Now, if you're thinking, I don't wanna give away the film genre in the first frame, and I don't wanna keep the same tone throughout the entire film, I completely understand. But most people already know the genre going into the film. So why not give them a taste of something that they're there for. People love action movies. That's why they start out with some action sequences. Almost every horror movie ever starts off with someone dying and a little, a little scare, or at least some suspense. So if they're there for a reason, give them a little bit of that reason. Also, you don't have to have the same tone throughout your entire film. Switch it up. I've never seen you know, a thriller or a horror film that only has dark scenes every, every single time there's gonna have to be a contrast. Now let's take that second frame really quick and we see that it's more of a drama, like a drama tone in this frame. Now if we go just a minute later into the film, we get this frame, completely different tone, much darker than a minute later, we're back to the first tone, uh, back to like a drama. And throughout the film, it slowly changes back to the second tone, which is more of a thriller. And that's kind of what the movie is. It's like a psychological thriller. And that change in tones will bring the audience through more of a ride. Now I want to do a really quick note on the last two things I want to talk about. The second thing is that lighting can determine, or at least determine a first impression of what the viewer thinks the quality of the film is. Now if it's overexposed, there's odd color tones, there's really no depth in the lighting, that can influence a viewer's first impression regarding your film. And this also goes into if people actually want to watch your film in the first place. When we think about watching a movie, we think about genre, quality, 
and maybe even big name actors. But since we're independent filmmakers on a budget, we have no big name actors. That's just how it's gonna be. So when you decide to watch a film, you're mostly like, hey, what's this film about? It's a comedy involving penguins. Is it good? Really good. Those are the main two questions if someone's gonna watch a movie, other than acting, of course. Remember, first impressions are important and lighting can determine the mood and the quality of your film. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Kevin. This is the Filmmaker's Blog. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and share this video to everyone. Make sure to like the video and let me know who's made it this far. And if you have made it this far, congratulations, you did it. So now get up, get out, go shoot something. I'll see you guys next Friday.